What's up guys, welcome to the Divine Gaming Universe where I'm going to pay homage to one of the greatest players of all time. If you don't know, 2016-2017 was the end of three legendary careers. We're talking about Philip Lahm, Chabi Alonso, and the one, the only, Francesco Totti. And I was thinking to myself, what can I possibly do to sort of pay homage to one of these three great players? So I was like, I have to do something special. I have to do something that hasn't really happened a lot over their careers. And if you look at Chabi Alonso and Philip Lahm, They've pretty much won everything there is to win. You know, they've won World Cups, they've won Champions Leagues, they've won League Titles, Cups. They've won just about everything you could possibly win, except for maybe a Ballon d'Or. Francisco Totti, on the other hand, is a player who, as illustrious of a talent as he was, he didn't win anywhere near as much as he should have. Why? Because he decided to stay loyal with his club for like 23, 24 years of his entire career. A club that, that doesn't have a great history, doesn't have a long history of winning titles. He decided to stay loyal instead of going to say Real Madrid, winning countless titles, or going to Man United or whatever, I think he mentioned that he had interest from them as well. He decided to stay in Rome and battle for his city, his people. So here, in this series, I'm gonna try to win the Serie A for the second time in Francesco Totti's career. I'm going to be playing the Serie A Champions League and Coppa Italia. Coppa Italia, that would be nice to win, but I have, you know, that's not part of my objectives. My main objective is winning the Serie A, and if I can win the Champions League as well, that would just be the cherry on top of a great career for Francesco Dolti. And it might not be a deciding factor for what happens in real life, but I feel like it would be a, a fitting way to render honor and glory to one of the greatest players to ever walk the earth, one of the greatest Italian players of all time, a world champion and one of the simply most talented number 10s we've ever seen. So the, thing, the way I'm going to build this campaign, this, this career mode, is in every game, except for maybe Coppa Italia, because I don't really care about that one, Totti is going to be starting unless he gets injured. Uh, hopefully he won't get injured early on, because I've seen it happen to people before when they do similar types of videos. Uh, like, I think at one time the True Jordy had Alan Shearer get hurt or something like that in one of his opening teams, which was... What was it called? Like, something to Shearer. Road to Shearer, something like that. Anyway, so Francisco Totti is going to be my uh, player behind the strikers. I, I was maybe going to be thinking about maybe playing him as like a classic number 10, but maybe I'll be playing a little bit deeper because of the fact he doesn't have a lot of pace. But I think that having him closer to the goal is probably going to be better because of how high his shooting is. I mean, just look at that. Up front, we have Dzeko uh, on the wings of Esharawi and Salah. Pretty decent wingers. Pretty quick, but... They aren't exactly, you know, world class, so it's going to be a little bit tough to deal with them. De Rossi, behind Totti, is going to be the vice captain. Nain Golan, excellent player. Would be surprised to see him still around next season. He's going to be probably my main hub in the field. Lorenzi, pretty decent on the back on the right. Full back position, he's very, very quick, and he has some good crossing and shooting, stuff like that. My last good defender. Vermeulen, the ex-Barcelona player, I'm hoping he'll be able to play well for me. Bruno Perez, he's a right back, but I'm playing him a left back. I don't really have any good left backs, and hopefully his pace will do some damage. And in goal, uh, I'm going to either be using Chesney or Allison, but for right now, I think I'm going to go with Chesney, just because he was the starter for Rome all season long. And let's see if he can if he can win if he can keep that place with some solid performances. Overall, it's a pretty good team, and the first three games are against Udinese, Cagliari, and Sampdoria. So I definitely need to be winning all three of those games because those are must-win matches. I cannot afford to drop points from Juventus. They're going to be my main rivals. Uh, Inter as well. In the game, I think are going to be pretty tough. Uh, so we'll see how things go. But right now, we'll be playing at the Stadio Olimpico in the very first match. And here we are, finally going to be starting off the season. I didn't do any preseason games just because I don't really care about that stuff. I don't, I'm not going to be doing a long career mode, so I don't need the extra fun and things like that. And uh, Stadio Olimpico, not usually full in real life, so this is kind of fake. The only time I've actually seen it full in like the last 10 years was when he retired on his last game. So. This is going to be interesting. I guess it's just a, a sign of things to come. Everybody knows this is the great campaign in which Tokyo will win a second Serie A title. And here we go, kicking off. Tokyo hits it back to Nainggolan, dishes out to De Rossi. Salah, going to have to play it backwards. Immediately finding some space. Nainggolan up there. Hit it back down to Salah. Cross it in for Dzeko, but it's a, it's a terrible cross. Thank fuck for that, because my defense is just awful right now. I haven't played this in so long, and I'm, I'm definitely rusty. I can tell both offensively and defensively I'm rusty, but this is going to be a big problem in defense. Okay, 
This is it. Deco first strike. Oh. Have to finish those. Oh, okay, damn it. Well tackled. I don't know how we got that much power in that one tackle. That was insane. Well done, Ashrawi. What the fuck was that shit? Did I see? Don't be well won. That's a great ball in. Somehow blows it. See what I mean? He doesn't have like the greatest. Uh oh. Salah! Oh, what a strike that was. Hey, shut out. We have tons of space. This could be it. This is it back to the Rossi. The strike. Oh, what a save. What a save. I probably should hit more power on it. I was trying to use a bit more finesse, but that's not really the Rossi's game. I mean, look at this. What a save. Damn, it was going right to the top corner, maybe. Maybe a little bit not quite angled enough, but it was definitely good. Koki with the cross. This is it, Salah. Just a little bit too short. Manolas can finish it. Manolas! Oh! Another hit off the top bar. Jesus. I think the first one's off the post. Two great chances so far. Shit. Good tackle there from Romain. It's a bad thing, but the shot. <laughs> they are fucking blessed. Who the names that are feeling it right now? What a strike from them, motherfucker. They had like two shots all game, so far at least. I think I spit over the guy who destroyed the game just that one time like last year. Fuck me, man. I, I hate this shit. I did this stupid ass sliding tackle right there. I should never should have on the ground. And you can't really complain there. Okay, cool, man. Can't complain there. It was a good strike from the guy, but that's just. I don't know. That's cheese. That's some FIFA cheese. Red card. Uh, it's gonna be red. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Grazie, Nico. Grazie, Leonardo. As it's your detour, that we didn't see it, so. They're really beating the shit out of me right now. I'm going ultra attack and trying to get something out of this game. Uh, so I'm pretty much just going balls to the wall. Oh no, 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 no. This is it, this is it. Deco has to use some pace. Can he keep it in? Yes, he can. Leave it. Not quite a way to get it backwards. Yes, then go on, strike it. Oh, what a goal from Raja Nangolan. That was a fucking beautiful strike. One of the best goals I've scored with him ever. I don't think I've ever used I used him in Kanye, but I don't think I've ever used him with Rome. One of the best goals. I probably of his career. I mean, he has, he has those strikes in him, but I didn't expect that. What a fucking ball right there. Look at that. Jekko does well to win it back. Bad pass, excuse me. Nainglan on the pretty much half volley. What a strike. 1-1 one, one Rome. Hopefully, I can get, I gotta get the three points out of this. I cannot afford to lose any points, especially not in the first game at home against a small team like Udinese, who granted, have always had players like Alexis Sanchez and Antonio Di Natale, but I can't afford to lose points against a small team like them this early on in the season. Well done, Tolkien right here, this is a chance. This is a wide. Make a run. Okay. Excellent. This is it. And shut we? Oh! So close. Well done, though. This, thing, this is getting a lot better for us right now. All game long, we've been dominating. Just can't seem to get the finishes. All right, so I'm throwing on Iturbe and, um, and Strutman. Hopefully, they'll give me a little bit more pace, a little bit more freshness. I didn't take off Toti because I don't want to lose him. Later on, maybe he can get a chance. But I'm, I might have to start subbing him out later on because of the fact that he gets so tired. Okay, well done, Chesney. Throw it immediately up to Dotti. Great job. Wow. Wow. <laughs> hey, just starting to creep up on him. <laughs> yep, and the game ends 1-1 with them attacking. Uh, what can I say? World class has always been like this for me. I always finish 
one one and we're one nil losing. I don't understand why. It's like all of a sudden my defense does some stupid shit in defense and I end up I end up losing a goal. Of course, Udinese had nine shots, only two were on target, but of course one of those was in the goal, oddly enough. And then obviously they play they play like Barcelona having a lot more possession than me. And that's probably because I go the much more balls to the wall style just flat out attacking forward, but this is not a good result. This is a very, very bad result. Alright, so Juventus have played two games and they only have four points, so with a win right here, I would be able to be even on points with Juventus. That would be huge. Napoli has only played one, they had they won their first game. Uh, where's Inter? Okay, Inter the third with three wins with three points, so yeah, basically the only two the only team that I need to be worried about right now is Juventus. Inter are obviously one of them as well and Napoli too, but Juventus having played two games only having four points. That gives me hope that I can beat Cagliari and get myself right back up to Juventus because realistically doesn't seem like to be worrying about. And I'm from the island that Cagliari is on, so this is going to be a bit of a personal game for me. I'm not like a huge, like massive ultra or hooligan for Cagliari, but I do uh, support them, I guess you could say. Like they're the team I would like, i like to see them win. I'm not a massive fan of them, but it's going to be a little bit, uh, a little bit emotional when playing in the last game for Rome after Santa Diego, which is kind of stadium. I'll leave a picture right here of the new one they're building. It's going to be much more beautiful. Looks very British. It's going to be a fucking great, a great time to go to that stadium when it opens up pretty soon. And here we go at the Santa Diego, where England was forced to play when they had the, the uh, World Cup in, in Italy because of the fact that the English hooligans were a bunch of dickheads and the Caleritani are some kind of ruthless people who beat the shit out of you. And that's exactly what happened in England, so it was funny. Uh, and here we go, hopefully we can get a better result than the last game. Even though we played pretty well in the last game, we definitely need all three points this time. Good run from Salah. And shall we cutting down? This is it. This is goal time. Well deflected, well deflected, but hey, good start. Well done, they don't see. Phenomenal. Look for the run, and we offside? No? Okay, good. Totti's cutting in. Great. The strike. Oh. Corner, corner, corner. No. Good, 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 good. No, that has tons of pace. This is a great chance. Cannot afford to blow this one. Off the Jekyll. No. They don't see. What a shit passing from off the ass. Well, what, what, okay. Totti. Over the Shadawi. Totti's going to make the run. Stops it. Checo! Oh, oh! Pretty good play there. Cagliari having 60% possession, Rome 40. I mean, why do all teams play like Barcelona, even Cagliari, who, with all due respect, are like fucking inconsistent as hell? Dangerous free kick here from Cagliari. I'm gonna do my usual cheap ass tactic, put Nangoran or any player on the line. Yeah. Oh my fucking god! Are you. F <laughs> okay, we know how this is. That's getting dumb, dumb move by me for doing a little free kick right there. I tried. Second half, 1-0 down to Cagliari, and as always, on world class. I just, I don't know. I can't seem to do shit until they score a goal first, and then all of a sudden, I'll start, I'll start doing much better. Watch, that's exactly what's gonna happen. It's the same thing all every fucking time with these goddamn FIFA games on, uh, on world class. It's the same thing over and over again. Totti! Good save from Chesney. As always, my defense is just fucking garbage. If you don't like the cussing, just don't watch it because I'm going to tell you right now, I'm going to be cussing a lot in this because this game really pisses me off a whole lot. There's not a lot of games that piss me off as much as FIFA do. To get as much as FIFA does. I swear to God, if I could would have put in the goal, I would have been the end of it. <laughs> I probably would have killed something. Probably would have gotten myself a nice little red bar, maybe two. And I, I swear to God, I thought it worked too. Uh, another corner for Cagliari puts in. It's actually a good ball. Okay, the Jekyll has got to do something with this ball. Got to get something going. No, he should be quicker than him, and he somehow gets bodied up. He gets bodied up by a guy who has nowhere near as much pace as him. What the hell? <sighs> Fuck! I'm gonna strike that. Ah! Hate these late whistles in the FIFA game. 
It also makes a great run. Can you finish it? Oh, come on, I was already celebrating. That has to be in. How much bad luck can one team have? There's nobody in the box. Nobody in the box. Of course, it's a, it's a shit cross from a shit player like Saraba still. Have to have more players in the box. And of course, the bad luck always strikes one of the post. It's just like, I mean, world class has to be doing this on purpose. There's just no way that it's possibly not on purpose. Like, every single time, are you kidding me? That's the third post I've hit this season in two games. They, every time they shoot, it's a goal, essentially. Meanwhile, I hit posts for days. Lucky me. <laughs> they fine. I guess they hit the post too, but... Jesus Christ. Did they have to find Jekyll, please? No, can't do that. Warner for Kai, Yeti. And they're gonna end this game 1-0, and they're gonna end it attacking. Are you fucking kidding me? Really? Penalty! Oh my god! <laughs> oh Jesus Christ, are you are you serious? Uh, Taunt his ass, Taunt his short little bitch ass, Marco Sal. Fuck you, you, you little twat, trying to do what the mm, I'm actually stuttering out of the rage. <laughs> trying to do what Toki does against Roma, that's just not gonna happen. Thankfully, the game has a little bit of... Fuck me, one nothing. FIFA. Eleven shots, four on target, one goal. I mean, zero goals, excuse me. And one post, maybe two posts. I think it was two posts, actually. Maybe no. I think the first two, the two posts were in the first game. So this time only one, but it was a beautiful strike from the middle. So the keeper was completely still and I hit the post. I mean, Jesus. Well, just look at the tables right now. I don't think all, yeah, all the teams have played. You've got Inter, six points. Napoli, six points. Juventus, four. Uh, Milan, zero points in two games. Wow. I thought I was in shit. I guess we do have to expect that from Milan because of how bad they've been uh, the past few seasons. But now with maybe with the new Chinese owners, they might actually be able to do a little bit more uh, with the team. Build up, some, build up some players and get Milan where they are supposed to be, which is at the top of the league. Alright, so the last game of the episode is going to be against Sampdoria. I cannot afford to drop points in this one, too. Sampdoria aren't a tough team. They shouldn't have any business, any business competing with me. And it looks like I have an injury. Uh, fixed the problem myself. Who is it? Florenzi, one of my best players, out injured first. I guess it's no choice but to put it. Got the Juan Jesus on the left, put a finish on the right. Not something I want to have to deal with, but unfortunately. That's how it is. Alright. Uh, I'm gonna give this team one more shot because I do get a lot of chances. I just don't seem to finish them. And if I don't get, if I don't uh, succeed with this one game, I probably have to change a little bit to the team. Because offensively, I'm doing well creating chances, but Jetco doesn't get anything going. He's too slow for my type, my type of style. With Toti behind him as well, it doesn't have a lot of pace moving forward. El Sharawi and Salah, and Salah, I've always had problems using Salah. El Sharawi uh, is a pretty decent player, but nothing special. So going into this game, I desperately need three points. Here we go once again at the Stadio Olimpico in Roma. Hopefully, gonna get something better. Gonna go ahead and start off attacking with some high pressure and some high team pressure. Jeko can't do shit for me. I'm really pissed off. Like legit, I can't, I can't stand when my striker is that big and strong and he can't do anything. Like even Ibrahimovic, he's a monster. He like dominates everything. And Jeko isn't isn't a bad player. He has like 29 goals this season. But realistically, like, what the fuck is going on with him? He can't keep a ball. He's too slow. He doesn't win headers. I don't think he's won a single header yet. I mean, what's going on? With what's going on with him? Like, I get it. I'm probably not using him the way he's supposed to be used. But this is just this is atrocious. Both is gonna dish it out to him. Not quite able to get to it. And should I we use that damn pace? See what I mean, Jekyll? Every time he touches the ball, he loses it. His turns are slow. He's just got nothing. He's got nothing. I don't understand what's going on with him. He's not that bad of a player. Why is he so shit? I mean, you know what's sad when De Rossi, your center midfielder who's like 34 years old, super slow, is making more runs than your center mid than your wingers. I mean, what is the point of even having wingers if they're just gonna be this shit? They don't do anything. They never get in space. When they do get in space, they're too damn slow, even though they're fucking pace motherfuckers, and they can't do shit. I just don't 
I don't understand what's going on. I have zero shots at home. Some don't have three. What the fuck is going on with me? Finish it! You fuck! You fuck! You're slow as shit! You're useless, Jekko! You're fucking shit! That's it. After this game, he's out of the team. I don't give a fuck. If he scores, then maybe he can get his chance back, but... Uh-huh, fuck that. He's too fucking shit. Pirotti's gonna get a chance. Maybe put Tokyo as the main striker. I don't know. Bottom line is, Jekko just is not, isn't, isn't doing it for him. He's not doing anything. He's not doing anything for the team. He's just useless. Yeah, celebrate Chesney. You're the only, you're the only one that's performing worth, worth the shit. No save from Chesney. I mean, I don't know what's going on. Honestly, my players are just sitting there. Another corner for them. Uh, and they're going to score. Nope. Okay. Got lucky this time. I mean, my players literally just stand there. If I'm not controlling them, they're literally just standing there. Hello? Hello? Fuck you, game. God damn, this game's so fucking stupid. Look at this shit. It's some Doria, dude. It's some Doria. Well, I was pushing the through pass forward, and it does that. What is going on? Okay. And Jekko doesn't put out his foot to get the ball. It's not really that hard. I mean, I, I'm not even good in real life, and I could have done better than that. Shitty pass. I was aiming it up there, but I, I'm not going to complain, and Salah does that. Final score. Watch. Watch him score just like Kai Daddy. Watch. It's going to happen. I mean, we all know it's coming. The game is clearly trying to get the win for some uh, Thankfully. Thankfully, uh, Kazari is a legendary free kick because I guess we don't have this as good, but still. Jekko. Hey, he won a header against the second of his game. Salah gets the ball for once. Loses it, of course, but, you know, gets it at least once. <sighs> Jekko is always in the wrong spot. And that was a matter of AI. Alright, when I got him, he was already behind the dude when it was literally the ball moving towards him. You gotta get in front of the ball, Jekko. You useless fucking cunt. You're out of the team. Alright, you're shit. I might be shit, but guess what? You're fucking. You're not making me look any better. You are out of the goddamn team. You may have gotten 29 goals or whatever it is in real life, but get the fuck out of here. Let's look at your performance. Let's see. Uh, how do you look? What was it? You look at that player ratings. Jekko, a 6.1. What do you do? Zero goals. Zero own goals, thank god. Zero assists. Shots on target, 0 out of 0. Of course, I only had one shot and it was my last. Wow. Uh, passes completed, he had 7 of 12. Alright, that's decent. Dribbles completed 5 of 5, not too bad. Tackles 1, 1 of 2. I mean, he had like very mediocre st stats from a guy who was supposed to be our, our main hub. I mean, somebody had 10 shots for fuck's sake. That was my fault, obviously, but goddamn. Alright guys, so at the end of the episode and after three games, Inter have nine points. That's a, that's a big problem because I only have two. Juventus have seven, so they aren't too far ahead of me. Five points are, I guess you could say, doable when it comes to catching back up. Milan are 17th with one point. Um, Fiorentina only have zero points. So I guess you could say some of the, the teams I have to be worried about. Oh, and Napoli also have six. So I'm within reach of Juventus and Napoli. Inter are kind of a bit far ahead now. I'm already in a great, great deal of pain and a great deal of danger of not actually winning the, t winning the title. I was pretty confident coming in here. I realized that the team isn't great. I realized it was always going to be tough, but I thought, you know, with Checo in there, I would be able to have a chance. And with Totti and with the decent amount of players I have that are pretty quick and things like that, I thought I'd be doing much better than that. But really, the only player that's been performing regularly is De Rossi and Chesney. Everybody else has just been having awful performances. Now you go out and got the goal, but I mean, I just haven't, did, I haven't been doing anything. So let me know in the comment section, guys, if you have any ideas of how things can improve with the team, any changes of tactics that you do. I'm definitely going to be taking out Jekko and putting in Pirotti. Um, and if you didn't enjoy the video, please let me know as well, because this is my first gameplay video I've done in a long time, and my first career mode. I'm still getting used to being in front of the camera and playing while I narrate and making you entertaining to actually watch me. So my apologies if it was boring. Make sure you, if you did think it was worth uh, giving a second chance, then definitely check out the second episode. I'm sure it'll be better, and uh, I'll see you then. It's a huge game against Paris Saint-Germain to be starting the episode, and that's going to be massive because it's going to be the first test against a really tough team I'll have, and considering how I've done in the first games, I'm expecting to get beat down.
I mean, unless I really find something I can, uh, you know, unless I find a really, really good thing to change the way my team plays, I'm in deep shit. So hopefully you guys will tune in, and if you do, then I will see you in that video.